everyone, so today I'm doing a haul video and I have not done a haul and I can't tell you how long I've been really trying to save up my money because I'm really bad at spending my money on things I really don't need. So I want to save up some money and I did get a couple of things but I didn't get a lot for my first like hauling after saving a little bit but I did get some items I'm really excited to show you so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got from Target first and I was on the lookout for certain items but I ended up not finding all the items at Target that I was looking for but I did end up finding this belt it's really cute it's just a black belt it originally was $6.99 although it says special value of $9.99 but it shows the original price was $6.99 I don't know um, but I ended up getting it for $4.88 and then I have been asking on Tumblr and also asking on Twitter what is like the best oh my gosh Bella is like sitting there chewing something I swear you have to make an appearance in like every video so I've been asking on Tumblr and Twitter what is like the easiest, less harsh makeup removing wipe that someone has used because I'm really looking for a good one and although no one gave me any responses, I remember that I did pick up the Aveeno Positively Radiant um, makeup removing wipes, although they're not makeup removing, they're just like a facial cleanser. Um, and I remember that they actually were really gentle on my skin and it removed my makeup really easy. So I'm hoping that this works well. This sells for $5.99, but I had a coupon for $2 off that I got from the newspaper as well as another coupon for a dollar off. One was a Target coupon, one was a manufacturer. So I ended up getting like $3 off. So it was actually a really good deal for these wipes. Now this is one of the products that I wanted to get on my drugstore trip today. Um, it is the Sally Hansen Instant cuticle remover, dissolve dry cuticles in 15 seconds, blah, blah, blah. I have never used a cuticle remover, so I wasn't sure how it would work. And I ended up using it today and it worked great. All you have to do is put on your cuticles for 15 seconds, wait, push them back, and then you're done. Um, I personally have really long cuticles. Like when I get them, they're really long. So I end up uh, clipping them with my cuticle clippers. Um, I don't always recommend that to people who don't know how to use cuticle clippers um, because it can, you know, puncture your skin. So I obviously don't recommend recommend that for people who have not used them before but I went ahead and I cut them off after and this actually does work really really nicely and this was actually $4.49 at Target okay now I don't know if you watch my vlogs but in my vlog video I had mentioned that one of my deodorants like exploded when I tried to use it um, it is the secret scent expressions uh, cherry mischief uh, deodorant. I got this one to replace the one that exploded. This one is by far my favorite deodorant. I love the scent um, of these deodorants as well as the staying power. Like these stay so nicely. They're not the kind that like you can see, you know, like sometimes when you wear tank tops like I am today, you can see like white stuff on your arm. Like it doesn't leave any of that. There's no residue. I absolutely love these deodorants. And I don't actually know if you're wondering, but I got this for $3.99 at Target. Okay, so this thing is usually $20, but I ended up getting it for $9.98. Um, it is the Remy limited edition textured tools curling iron I use just a normal bedhead curling iron that has a clamp on it I use that to do my spiral curls like where you wrap it around even around like the little clamp part but I wanted to try one that did not have the clamp because I wanted to see if it'd be a little bit easy and I saw someone did a tutorial using one of these and their hair turned out great like their hair looked flawless and Remington sometimes will have good products but sometimes like they're like more cheaply made and they're not like the nicest so I have somewhat high hopes for this just because of of another guru who posted a video on it but I don't know I kind of feel like it could be another one of those like things that you could kind of do without so um, again I got it for $9.98 so I thought it was a good price to just try it out Okay, so funny story. With the items like I was telling you that I was on the hunt for, I ended up having to go to so many stores to try and find these items, and I still didn't find everything that I wanted. Um, I ended up going to Target, which didn't have these items. I went to Walmart, which didn't have the items. I went to Kmart, which didn't have the items. And then I went to one Walgreens, and I ended up finding at least one of the items, and that is the Rimmel Scandalize... Um, I don't know mascara it's just the one that's in the orange bottle I got it in extreme black and what caught my attention with this is that it was orange and I thought that was awesome um also Nicole had talked about it and she had gotten it in her drugstore haul and I was like you know what I really wanted to try it out I did and I don't like it so I'm really upset that I went driving everywhere to look for this mascara and it's just it's no good no bueno I don't recommend that you go get this I ended up getting for $6.99 and because that Walgreens didn't have the other items I then checked out CVS which had none of the items I was looking for as well except for the mascara so I'm like okay there's one more Walgreens that is literally on my way home so I went to that Walgreens and luckily they had a couple of the items I was looking for so I had heard some really good things about the Wet n Wild Mega Last uh, nail polishes and my favorite kind of nail polish is the kind that has like the flat um, 
brush on it and I really wanted to try these out because they had really really pretty colors so I ended up getting the I need a refreshment nail polish as well as the on a trip nail polish which is on my nails right now if you guys were wondering um, I got both of these these were $1.99 at Walgreens yeah Walgreens is where I said yeah Walgreens um, they were $1.99 I was gonna get um, I think it was like Candylicious there was another one that I wanted but I ended up just deciding on two of them so I did just get these two I have decided I do want to go back and get more after using it this goes on perfectly like perfect color payoff after just two coats which I think is really good so um, I want to try of course this one next and I really 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 love these nail polishes okay and then the last thing that I got that was part of the Walgreens haul was this wet n wild juicy lip balm and it has an SPF of 15 I got mine in the strawberry flavor I only got it just because it was pink to be honest with you but it comes with like a fair share of amount of lip balm and I am wearing that on my lips right now I do have lip gloss over top of it but I think this is like the perfect lip balm to wear underneath lip gloss because it's great by itself like I'll be honest it's really really nice it's very very creamy or creamy I don't know it's very it like glides on really easy I love that um but then when you put the lip gloss on top it kind of makes it seem like the lip gloss shines like that much more but um my lip gloss isn't that fresh so it probably doesn't look very shiny right now but this one retails for $2.99 at Walgreens so that is my drugstore haul I hope I kind of inspired you guys to go try out the new items because there are so much new items in the drugstores and I want to get a little bit more but like I said I want to save up some money because I am just going broke and I don't want to spend all my money on a bunch of products so I just kind of let myself get out of my withdrawal of buying new products and yeah so that is it for me if you guys end up doing a drugstore haul please post it as video response those are my favorite videos to watch and I love hearing and seeing new products that are going on the shelf so anyways thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to everyone later bye guys